press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, today we discuss the family that is Solanaceae. Solanaceae is commonly called as potato family. The economic important plants belong to family Solanaceae are for food we are using potato, brinjal, tomato, spice that is chilli, ornamental plant petunia, medicine plant atropa, belladonna, then vitania, somnifera commonly called as ashwagandha. Next as a fumigatory smoking purpose that is tobacco plant. So these are the economic important plants present in family Solanaceae. Okay. Now we discuss about the characteristic features of Solanaceae. Okay, the characteristic features or silent features or important characters of the plants belong to family Solanaceae. First, we discuss about the vegetative character that is habit. Habit of the plants in Solanaceae is herb. Herb means small plants which grows for about uh, one feet height, then shrub, these are bushy plants, then they also contain small trees, they also contains small trees. Then the root, see the Solanaceae belongs to dicot plants. So, the root is taproot system, taproot system. Next, stem, stem, aerial, grows in air, aerial, erect, erect, then cylindrical in shape and the stem is covered by see this is the stem cylindrical stem the stem is covered by stem and leaves especially the stem concedes the aids aids airy stem is present so airy or glabrous stem eri or glabrous stem tomato nodi brinjal nodi gotagutte so stem milella shiny aids irutte so eri or glabrous stem anta karithe next underground stem modification kelavondralli elladrallo alla tomato dalli irodilla some plants have underground underground stem modification like potato like potato so all plants will stem modification agirudilla Potato thera plants clean at the underground stem modifications na thod sakte. Adon na wo steady madhi di tuber anta correct hai. Okay. Next leaves, leaves, leaves is 
सिंपल और पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड लीव लीव्स और सिंपल और पिनेटली कॉम्पाउंड लीव्स एंड द प्लांट इज वॉट डेकॉट प्लांट इट कंटेन स्टैप रूट सिस्टम एंड द लीव्स shows reticulate reticulate venation reticulate venation means the vines midrib vines and vinelets they are arranged in the network like fashion they are arranged in network like fashion so it is called as reticulate some plants they show simple leaves and some plants they show pinnately compound leaves means your leaf lamina is dissected in pinnately compound leaves whereas in simple leaf the leaf lamina is not dissected okay so these are the vegetative characters of family solanaceae here one important thing is thing is the stem is glabrous stem is the main important thing and in plants like potato there is underground stem modification these are the very very important vegetative characters of family solanaceae next we discuss the floral characters floral characters of family solanaceae flora means flower flower characters in that first we discuss about inflorescence inflorescence is the thing but the special axis or the branch of the stem which consists or which bears flowers see the inflorescence here is cymos types of inflorescence inflorescence lena irte cymos fabaceae compare martta hogbeku difference nortta hogbeku fabaceae li namge racemos ittu illen ide cymos types of inflorescence ide next flower character flower flower they are actinomorphic actinomorphic whereas in fabaceae it is zygomorphic actinomorphic flower means if the flower is cut at any particular plane then it gives two equal halves the flower is cut at any direction or any particular direction not only one direction it cut at any direction if it gives two equal halves then it is called as actinomorphic or radial symmetry okay fabaceae zygomorphic then in solanaceae actinomorphic symmetry is very important next flowers are bisexual bisexual means it contains both the sex organ male and female sex organ next hypogynous hypogynous means hypo means below the gynecium from below the gynecium the first three oral that is sepals petals and stamens are arranged from the base of the ovary then the flower is said to be hypogynous okay next we take up the calyx 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 is the first oral of the flower see here the calyx 
when you count the number of sepals of the calyx there are five sepals five sepals and those sepals are fused are fused so it is called as gamo sepals five sepals all the sepals are fused their margins are attached with each other so they are called as gamo sepals then yeast vation is valvate yeast vation yeast vation is valvate yeast vation valvate yeast vation means their margins of the sepals they may touch each other but without showing any overlapping they does not show any overlapping their margins may touch each other without showing any overlapping so it's called as valvate yeast vation okay the fluorescence is cymos types maybe solitary cyme helicoidal cyme like that then flower actinomorphic bisexual hypogynous calyx five sepals all the sepals are fused gamosepals then they are showing valvate yeast vision next we study corolla antrichum gynichum fruit and seed now corolla corolla is the second ring or oral of the flower so corolla the individual units of corolla we called as petals so when we count the number of petals there are five petals five petals and all the petals are fused in city called as gamo petals gamo petals and they shows valvate type of yeast vision valvate yeast vision valvate means i already told you the petals margins they may touch each other but without showing any overlapping so it is called as valvate yeast vision both sepals and petals they shows valvate type of yeast vision next androsium 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 is the third oral of the flower androsium is the male sex organ of the flower see in androsium when we count the number of stamens there are five stamens stamens na count madide estide five stamens and there is one important characters your stamens are free so in uh, uh, fabaceae the stamens are showing adult means fusion but your stamens are free then it is called as polyandrous stamens are free then it is said to be polyandrous and the the stamens filament are attached to petals so it is called as epi petals they are polyandrous they are free but each stamens filament is attached to what petals so it is called as epi petals or they are arranged from the petals or uh, they are arranged from the petals see this is the ovary from the base calyx petals so now the stamens are attached stamens filament are attached to petals and they are arranged so it is called as epi petals epi means above the petals stamens are arranged above the petals so it is epi petals important characters of family solanaceae right next gynecium gynecium fabaceae is monocarpellary solanaceae is 
bicarpular bi means two carpels individual unit of ganesha we called as carpels there are bicarpellary and those two carpels are fused so it is called as syncarpus since the flower is hypogynous then the ovary should be superior 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 ovary hypogynous flower it to antandre ovary na irutte superior means ovary is at the top from its base first three ovules are arised ovary is superior bicarpellary syncarpus superior ovary then placenta here well, there is one important thing in placenta see the placenta placenta is solen placenta na irutte oothkondirutte solen na irutte that is the important characters of family solanaceae hagagi adu nen anta karutteve aa hesarane adu kodtar solanaceae anta placenta is solen oothkondirutte so the plant family name is solanaceae avale adu floral diagram torustini yav rithi adu cell agirutte placenta is solen and another important thing and obliquely placed obliquely placed obliquely placed many number of ovules so placenta is solen and it is obliquely placed on which the ovules are attached and ovules are many in numbers ovules develops into seed the ovules na nodi yadralli tomato dalli nodi capsicum al nodi brinjal al nodi there are many seeds irutte many seeds antanda those seeds are developed from ovules so many seed our number of when you count the number of ovules that much of seed is present in that fruit eshtu seed irutte eshtu ovules irutte eshtu ovules irutte ashte en irutte seed irutte so many number of seeds are present in the plant in plant fruit because the plant fruit is said to be berry or capsule so placenta solen obliquely placed on that solen placenta ovules are attached floral diagram nodadaga nimge gotagutte okay so this is the gynecium very very important gynecium character thumba important evulu kuda families na determine maduvantaddu bicarpellary syncarpus superior ovary then very very important placenta is solen thumba important in complete ge placenta is solen obliquely placed many number of seeds are attached to the placenta okay next fruits fruit fruits developed from this type of ovary is usually berry berry or in some plant is capsule berry or capsule there are type of fruits now discussion madidivala tag nodi berry or capsule irutte definition bari avashyakata illa yavudu type anta mention madidre saaku then seed seed many number of ovules irbekare seed ena irutte seed or many in numbers there are many in numbers then if we are endospermic non endospermic antandre fabaceae non endospermic but here is endospermic means the seed consists endosperm seed alli en irutte endosperm irutte next okay so these are the characters features of family solanaceae right very very important gynecium character handrisium scalix and uh, sepals okay next nodana floral formula matte floral diagram
a floral formula is very very important especially for uh, competitive exams and also for lab exams so floral formula commonly it is indicated as ff floral formula and floral diagram both are important see here plants are actinomorphic so it is represented in symbol plus and the plants consists two types of sex organ that is bisexual symbol next calyx there are five sepals when we count the number of sepals there is five sepals then all the sepals are fused so it is indicated in bracket ಇವಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರಿತೀವಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಉದ್ದ ಬರಿತೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಬದಲು ಫ್ಲೋರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾನ ನಾವು ನೆನಪಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಆ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ತನ್ನ ತಾನಾಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕರೋಲಾ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರೋಲಾ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೋ ಪೆಟಲಸ್ then andrisium andrisium how many stamens five stamens and those stamens are free so there is no bracket if they are fused should be shown in bracket in fabaceae nine fused plus one free nine are shown in bracket okay but epipetalous means stamens are attached to petal so it is indicated in letter in symbol like this see this is we called as epi petalus means here filaments are attached to filaments of the stamens are attached to petals right then last one gynecium gynecium bicarpellary means two carpus bicarpellary and those carpus are fused so it should be indicated in bracket and ovary is superior superior over male irutte kelade ond line aakbeku this line indicates what from the base of the ovary first three orals that is sepals then stamens and sorry uh, sepals petals and stamens are arranged from the base of the ovary and ovary is at the top and flower is said to be hypogynous means below the gynecium ovary is superior top means superior so this is the floral formula very very important the floral formula competitively yavall kuda kelta irtare okay iga floral diagram nodana fd anta kare fd means floral diagram so ili floral diagram nalli least deviation irutte floral formula nalli one demerit enappa antandre least deviation irodilla but least deviation can be observed in floral diagram iga sepals means calyx five sepals ide fused ide least deviation yen torustha ide adu valvet type of least deviation anta karutte ee mother axis inda nodidaga ಮದರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ನ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಮದರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸಿಂದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟಾಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ಸೆಪಲ್ಸ್ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಪಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ವಾಲ್ವೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ಟಿವೇಷನ್ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಹೌದಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಟಚ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದಾರೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಗ್ಯಾಮೋ ಸಪಲಸ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಟಚ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೋ ಎನಿ ಓವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್
share the margins of sepals they are they are not twisted they are not showing any overlapping they may touch each other so idu gamosepalus agide so margins na ondu kondu en madbeku fuse madbeku but without any overlapping adu yavade tarada overlapping martta illa margins ondu kondu ondu ena ide just fuse agide that indicates gamosepalus condition okay next petals how many petals five petals and they showing valvate type of yeast division Okay, see here, the margins of the sepals and petals, they may touch each other without any overlapping, but here they are gamosepalous, so their margins should be fused by this symbol. Attachment to the torso. Okay. So, both sepals and petals are showing valvate estivation. Next, is the stamens before stamens i will just make an outlook of the ovary now i will write the stamens stamens are ap petalous five stamens their filament are attached to petals See there are five stamens and those stamens are attached to petals. So it is the condition we call as epipetalus. Okay. Now the gynesium. Gynesium here ovary is swollen and it is obliquely placed.
ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಓವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋಲನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಓವರಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೋಲನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ರೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೋಲನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓದ್ಕೊಂಡಿರು ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಹಾಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಫ್ಯಾಬಿಸಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಳುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮದರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಮದರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಗೆ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ಗಳು ತುಂಬಾ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಎಷ್ಟು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಅವಾಗ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಟೊಮ್ಯಾಟೋ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಜಾಲ್ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ನೀವು ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಮೆನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಟೊಮ್ಯಾಟೋನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಮನೇಲೆ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಟೊ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸೊ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಮೆನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓವಿಲ್ಸ್ right so this is the floral diagram floral diagram sepals valvate estivation gamo sepals their margins are few petals also showing valvate estivation and their margins are few then epi petals means there are five stamens and those stamens are attached to petals next ಓವರಿ ಬೈ ಕಾರ್ಪುಲರಿ ಟೂ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬೈ ಕಾರ್ಪುಲರಿ ಸಿಂಕ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಬೈ ಕಾರ್ಪುಲರಿ ಎರಡು ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಒಂದು ಈ ಕಡೆ ಒಂದು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಿದೆಯಾ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೈಸ್ ಸೋಲನ್ so the family name is called as solanaceae solan obliquely placed mother axis is straight agiradilla cross agiradu obliquely placed placenta with many number of ovules so it is very very important see the floral formula floral diagram adana complete gu keltare practical five marks keltare theory keltare so adu more type of exam nal barutte ondu ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಥಿಯರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ನೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎರಡೂ ಕೂಡ ನೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬರ್ಕೊಡಿ ಇದನ್ನು students we study now the last family that is family lily ac last family belongs to lily ac belongs to monocots or monocotyledonae lily ac belongs to monocots because it had only one cotyledon okay next habit sir economic importance economic important plants 
belong to this family liliaceae so vegetables some plants are used as vegetables like onion garlic and asparagus these are some vegetable plants belong to lilies next as ornamental ornamental plants like gloriosa then tulip these two are widely used as ornamental plant then next in medicine or medicinal plants that is aloe vera or hal aloe vera or hal okay so these are the some examples economic important plants examples belong to family lilies next we study the vegetative characters of this family vegetative characters of the family liliaceae so first is habit here there is perennial perennial herbs the plants are perennial herbs perennial means the plants live more than 2 years okay next root root since it is monocot so it contains fibrous root system next stem stem is underground modification stem shows different types of underground modifications like it may be bulb as in onion and garlic then it may be corn and it may be of rhizome so different type of underground stem modification is noticed in family liliaceae and some stems or comes out of the soil and they are produced aerially so they give rise to leaves system okay sometimes those stems which are, which are developed above the ground are also called as false stem right so take down this next we discuss about leaves so leaves arise from the base of the stem so the leaf is called as basal and it is of simple and having alternate type of phyllo taxi so in bulb we discussed that the leaves are arised from the base that is the condensed stem so the leaves are arranged from the base of the stem so it is the basal simple and showing alternate phyllo taxi and leaves are having since the plant belong to monocots the leaf are having parallel venation venation means arrangement of vines it is of parallel to each other since it is monocot so the leaf had 
शीतिंग लीफ बेस शीतिंग लीफ बेस सो वी डिस्कस अर्लियर अबाउट द शीटिंग लीफ बेस मीन्स द लीफ बेस इज सम वॉट ए शीत लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओके नेक्स्ट इनफ्लोरसेंस दट इज द फ्लोरल कैरेक्टर इनफ्लोरसेंस so inflorescence here different types of types of racemos or cymos so inflorescence varies in liliaceae some plant they had the humble type of racemos some they had corymb like that there are varieties type of racemos can be observed in liliaceae and as similar in Uh, some plants like cymos also found okay okay next flowers flowers are actinomorphic so it get it uh, that is flexible when the flower is cut at, at any direction it gives two equal halves then bisexual means it contains both the sex organ then hypogynous hypo kinas okay next so here calyx and corolla are absent instead of the calyx and corolla means here homoclamides that is the calyx calyx and corolla i uh, mean sepals and petals cannot be differentiated then the oral we called as perian oral is said to be perian then individual unit of perian tepals okay there are six tepals six tepals and they are arranged in two whorls two whorls they are arranged in two whorls that is what 3 plus 3 so 3 is the outermost whorl then next three is present in the inner or second whorl i will show it in the floral diagram next handrisham andrisham stamens six stamens stamens are six in number and it is also arranged in two whorls two whorls and the stamens are epi fillers stamens are epi fillers epi means they are attached to perianth or tepals they are attached to perianth or tepals then gynesium gynesium tricarpellary tricarpellary means it contains three carpus then syncarpus all the all those carpus are fused so tricarpellary syncarpus then axial placentation axial placentation okay so since the flower is hypogynous it is what superior ovary right flower is hypogynous the ovary is at the top that is superior ovary next about fruit and seed fruit is similar as that of like solanaceae that is berry or capsule and the seed since it is monocot seed is endospermic right since it is monocot seed is endospermic very easy in compared to other families the liliaceae family is very easy now we study the floral formula and floral diagram
Okay, a floral formula simply it is represent as FF. So floral formula it says actinomorphic, right? Bisexual. Then sepals and petals are absent. That is the tepals we call as perianth. Perianth consists six tepals arranged in three orals. Sorry, two orals, three plus three, right? Three plus three. Next, andrisium. Andrisium consists consists six stamens, and those six stamens are arranged in two orals, three plus three, and stamens are attached to means. filament of the stamens are attached to tepals so we called as epiphyllous right then gynecium tricarpullary tricarpullary syncarpus superior ovary okay in some like a ncert textbook they will not show the epiphyllous condition in floral formula but epiphyllous condition is shown in floral diagram okay idanna baribodu ee tar torisbodu torisalu irabodu but idu yene ishtide ishtu na nodutiddange adu yen anta antobeku liliaceae family anta antobeku okay so illi tepals kuda poly tepalous agirutte means poly and free irutte or fused agirutte means gamo kuda agirutte kelavond plants alli poly irutte kelavond alli free free irutte kelavond alli fused agirutte means poly or gamo Tepalous means gamo fillous something like that. Okay, your floral formula. I do next floral diagram. Very easy there. So tepals. Could you draw? They will show the estivation. That is, they are showing valvate estivation. Okay, in two orals something like that. You can only two orals. In the mother axis something like that. Mother axis in the now floral formula. No need there. valvate estivation ide means they are margins they will not produce any overlapping they are arranged side by side without any showing overlappings Here six tepals, outer three, inner three, and they showing valvate type of estivation. Means their margins does not touch each other. Okay, does not means they does not produce any overlapping. So, ले gamma फिलस् मीन गैमो फिलस् कंडीशन तोर्तारे अंतर्रे फ्लोरल डयग्राम तोर्सीतर फ्लोरल फार्मुला तोर्सोद अद्क नान इट मे बी आफ गो फिलस् आर् पाली फिलस् इन नेचर मीन अवद्रो मारजिन्स अटैच आगे इन ओरल अटैच आगे फ्री बिड़ता है किलो से सदर्भली सती ब्राकेट कूड़ा हाँ सो गैमो फिलस्सू आगबू 
ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದರೆ ಪಾಲಿಫಿಲ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂಥ ಟೆಪಲ್ಸಿಂದ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ನು ಇನ್ನರ್ ಟೆಪಲ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಥರ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಂಡ್ರಿಶಿಯಂ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಮನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಓರಲ್ಸ್ ಔಟರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಔಟರ್ ಟೆಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಇನ್ನರ್ ಟೆಪಲ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಓವರಿ ಓವರಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಕಾರ್ಪಲರಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಓವರಿ ಮೊದಲವಾ ಟ್ರೈ ಕಾರ್ಪಲರಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಓವರಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈ ಕಾರ್ಪದರಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಪಸ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಓವರಿ wheels are attached from the central axis so first ige one eradu floral diagram floral formula barithidre amal nimge easy aguduttu adu enu doddu daadanta kashta irodilla floral characters na nenpu idkobutta saaku idu easily namige bandibudutte one eradu sathi barithiddange bariyodige barutte okay so so far we discussed about uh, solanesi and uh, liliesi so this ends the chapter morphology of flowering plants so the note on super difficulty ant ansutte are nammalli now barita baritane esla elladnu explanation madidini aa running notes na barkoli pade pade helidin nanu aa respective examples gulanna flowers gulanna live nodi live sigilla anta andre kelavond flowers sigalla antaga adanna images gulalli google alli images alli nodi ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಅದು ನೆನ್ಪು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಇರ್ತವೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದನ್ನು ಈಸಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳೋದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಕೂಡ ಮಾರ್ಫೊಲಜಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಾಮಿನಿ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಈಸಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳೋದು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ನ ನೋಡ ನೋಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಡೈ ಅಡಲ್ಟ್ ಪಸ್ ನೀವು ಫ್ಯಾಬೇಸಿ ಫ್ಯಾ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಬರುವಂಥ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳು ನೋಡಿ ಪಿ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಡೈ ಅಡಲ್ ಪಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮಾಲ್ವೇಸಿ ಐಬಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಮಾನೋಡಲ್ ಪಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ರೀತಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಟೊಮೆಟೋನ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಕುಕುಂಬರ್ನ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಪೆರೈಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಪಿ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ನ ಸುಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಲೈವ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ನೀವು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಅದು ಬೇರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಬಟ್ ಈಗ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಎಲ್ಲದೂ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀರ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ನ ಓದ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀರ ಅಂದಮೇಲೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ನೀವು ತಿಂಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಆವಾಗ ಅದು ನಿಮಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಅದೇ ಒಂದು ಕೀ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈ ಮಾರ್ಫಲಜಿಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇರೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ನ ನೆನಪು ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಲೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕೋಆ